Okay, so welcome back everyone. So at this point, we have learned about the sinking of the Titanic and what happened after the boat sank. We have learned about what happened to the survivors in the lifeboats and how they began to return to normal life. However, what actually happened to the beautiful Titanic? Was it left to rot on the bottom of the ocean? Was it discovered by anyone? Are there any parts of it left that we can still see today? So we are going to learn a bit about the discovery of the Titanic after it sank. You do not have to read anything, as I will just talk about what happened when people decided what to do about the boat on the bottom of the ocean. So about two years after the boat sank, in the year 1914, a plan was set in place to try to use a submarine to move the Titanic off the ocean floor. However, the Titanic was not found until 1985, so this plan was never set into motion. The Titanic was found by following a trail of debris on the ocean floor that was so large that it had to be left from a ship. The team that found the Titanic held a celebration for their great accomplishment. However, this team did not descend to the Titanic until a year later to explore this marvelous ship. What did the interior of the ship look like? How many different parts were there on this huge cruise ship? What was even left of the ship? So today, you are going to have the opportunity to explore the design of this first ever built cruise ship. You are going to take a virtual tour of the Titanic. We have provided you with the link to access this tour, but please reach out to us if you are unable to reach the tour using the link provided. On this virtual tour, your task will be to click on all the different numbers that you see to get a closer look at the different parts of the ship. You are also able to scroll to zoom in and out to get a better look at the ship. So after you've taken this virtual tour and explored the parts of the ship, your task is to either create or draw a part of the ship that you viewed on the virtual tour. Again, you can choose if you're going to use materials to create a part of the ship or if you're going to simply create a drawing. For example, you can choose to create or draw the grand staircase, which you will see on your virtual tour. If you do choose to create a part of the ship, you can use different materials such as cardboard, sticks, or whatever you have around your house that you think you'd be able to use. This creation needs to be shoebox sized and you need to have a title on it so that we know what you have created. If you choose to, to do a drawing, it needs to be a full page with color and again it needs a title telling us what you have drawn. You do not need to create or draw the whole ship, but if you would like to do so, feel free to be creative. You can upload a picture of your creation or drawing so that we can all share our work with one another. If you need help thinking of materials to use to create the part of the ship that you chose, please feel free to reach out to us. And we can't wait to see what you have created or drawn for us.